everyone, uh, Reggie B here from P Club Records LLC, and welcome to another episode of Logic Pro Mix Tips and Tricks. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to create this cool little effect. Um, it's kind of like a screwed or a chopped and screwed effect, as as they say. Um, so I'm going to play this audio file so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about. And so there you hear it it starts playing normally and then as it goes to or to the end it begins to give this kind of screwed effect which is kind of cool uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, is you want to get an audio file um, any type of audio file upload it to the to the track once you do this in this left region here um, you'll see region and track and you want to select region now once you hit region you're gonna see this tab that says more once you hit more then you're gonna see fade in and I believe here it'll say fade out and what you want to do is click fade out and go down to slow down when you select slow down right next to it over here as you can see mine says 3000 uh, you click on this and you can put in any number you like. Now what this is going to do is, is move the fade curve further or closer on this audio file. I don't know if this, let me blow this up a little bit. Now, as you can see, there's a fade curve that, that formed here. So now when I adjust this number, say I put in 5,000, you can see the fade curve has now moved further out on this region so once you set that then you're done all you have to do is play the track and you get that nice little screwed effect now this is great for transitioning into a chorus or uh, transitioning you know out of a chorus into a verse this is a really good effect that can be used um, just to bring a different sound to your mixes and bring a different sound um, to your overall track and give the listener something different to hear um, so that's a, a quick tip on uh, making a screwed vocal effect or uh, audio file in Logic Pro until next time